Hello and welcome back to the Django admin series. In this tutorial, we're going to go through how to install a simple kind of markdown editor so that we can use a markdown editor within the admin area. So if you head across to the Django packages.org, if you haven't already started having a look at this, uh, this can give you kind of a rundown of all the Django packages and then maybe you're interested in popular packages or you're not too sure um, about what package to use and you want to compare them against other similar packages then this is a good website in order to do that. So you can see here, there's loads of different Markdown editors here, sometimes called WYSIWYG editors. Um, we're just going to go for, in this tutorial, uh, Django Summer Note. Now, if you do want me to, me to show you any other Markdown editors, then just let me know in the comments. We can go through those as well. So this is going to be an installation guide on how to install Django Summer Note uh, so that we can then start to uh, enrich our text editor um, and allow us kind of in the background to convert that text into HTML so that we can provide easy customizable um, templating or customization in our post text. This is the project that we're working with. So we're just continuing from the previous tutorial. Notice on the left hand side, we've got some notes here. So we're on part seven, I think at the moment. Uh, so you find all the kind of code that I'll be utilizing in this tutorial, similar to the other tutorials here, if you're interested. So the first thing that we need to do is just install. So I'm going to pip install Django Summer Note. So you can see I've already installed it, but go ahead and install Summer Note, and that's going to be the first step. This package needs to be registered in the settings. So go ahead and put it into the installed apps. It's just going to be Django underscore Summer Note. So in addition to that, we're going to need to add a new path. So head over to the URLs. I've already added mine here. Uh, so I've added this path here, summer note, um, and that's just going to provide the connectivity to the functionality um, when we start utilizing summer note. Summer note does provide facilities so that we can also implement images. So we're going to need the uh, media folder here. So let me just delete this. So you're going to need to create a, a new folder uh, called uh, media. There we go. And then you're going to need to then configure your media settings inside of your settings file. Uh, so at the bottom, maybe uh, we want to just go ahead and set up that. So there's two main settings here for media, uh, the media URL, similar to the static here. We've got the media URL and the path to the media folder, which is called media and then the media root, which is kind of the, the base directory or the, the root directory um, of the actual folder. So now we've got that in place, we do need to set that up. So I'm just gonna remove the, the static files just for now. So just to get this, just to get this working, you can reconfigure this for your static and media. Uh, so we're going to need to, first of all, import the settings and static. And then we go ahead and now import both the static and media. So here you can see that if, if settings is debug, so if debug equals true, so if we're in um, debug mode, uh, ideally we're in the, uh, the development environment here on your computer, uh, we're going to actually utilize these settings here. So this sets up the, the static files and the media route so that we can use it locally. Right, so now we've got that in place, that should be all that we're gonna need there. So Summer Note does come with a few different um, models that are gonna need to be migrated. So let's go ahead and Python um, manage pi and then migrate. So that's gonna create the new tables. Now I've already done that, so you can see that didn't work on mine, but you can see we've got a new table here called Django Summer Note. So that, or model called Django Summer Note, so that will be available in the admin area. So now we can go ahead, now we've set that up, now we can actually apply it to our model. So head over to where you want to actually include Summer Note, in this case the blog. So my models, I've just got two fields here, the title and the content, and obviously I want to use Summer Note in the content so I can uh, utilize that kind of markup feature so that I can pre-style um, my 
my posts, my blog posts. Um, so let's go over to the admin page. Okay, so what we're going to need to do here, first of all, is just from Django Summer Note, we're just going to import the uh, Summer Note package. So we are just following on from the previous tutorial. Notice that I did make a, a custom admin area. So I'll show you how to apply this in the custom admin area and then also the, the main Django admin area if you're just using that. So let's go ahead and create a, a new class and then let's just call this uh, summer admin, for example. And then we're going to need to then bring in the summer note model admin um, instead of obviously the uh, admin dot admin site or admin the model admin. And then we will then actually then just define where we want to actually use this. So there's two options here. We can just uh, apply this. So for example, uh, let's say summer note fields. So we can apply this to all the fields or we can just specify which field uh, we want to use. So that's just going to apply it to all fields or try to apply this to all fields. So if we go into the model, I can just specify uh, for example, the content field, which is where I want to use it. So in that case, all I need to do is just change this to, um, for example, uh, oh, content. Oh, okay, content, there we go. Um, yep, yeah, so that just matches up there. So let's just apply it for all for now. So we're just going to leave this to all, but you can do it any way that you want to. Cool. There we go. Okay, so we're going to apply this to all. So now what we need to do is just register this. Now, how we're going to do this? Like I said, we apply this to the custom blog site admin, and then we we'll also do this to the main admin too. So first of all, let's just do it to the admin site. So it's just going to be the admin site and then reg register. Now I am already bringing in the um, all the models from the models, and there's only one model available. Um, so we could alternatively change this, couldn't we, just to import the single model. Um, so let's just go ahead and register this. So first we need, all we need the actual model name, which is going to be uh, post. And then secondly, we will then define um, our new summer note options. Oh, it's just going to be summer admin. And there we go. Okay, so that's going to register it to the actual main admin site. And of course, here we can also apply it to the blog site. So let's go ahead and do that. So the same type of process again, we want to uh, include the post and then the summer admin. Okay, so there we go. So that's going to register the, the post model onto the admin and our custom area and then it's going to basically just inform Django we also want to hook into the summer note um, so that we can utilize this markup editor and we're just going to apply this to all we're going to try and use it on all of our models so let's go over now to the admin area uh, notice that there's, there's a problem here um, so model uh, we should be involved in models Okay, and then blog admin area, object has no attribute site. Okay. There we go. Okay, so now we can go ahead and go into our admin. So you'll notice that the Django summer note has created a new table for the attachments and that's going to provide a, uh, a link or a path to the attachments that you've made uh, to the posts. So you can see here I've added one earlier just to show what it's going to look like. You can see that I've brought in an, an image and then where the file location was. Obviously I've deleted that now so we can just remove that. But that's why that why we needed to migrate earlier so we can build that table of media that's connected within our posts. So let's go into the posts and let's just uh, add a new post and notice that it's not working. It says refuse to connect. So the final step in this process 
If we go back into the settings, you're going to need to set the X frame options to same origin. Okay, so let's go back into and refresh, and you can now see that we've got our markup editor. So generally, what's going on here? For example, we're going to create a new post, and of course, you're, if you've used something like this before, you'll probably know that if I were to actually post this and make this into a, a real post, that but the problem here is that it doesn't always follow the same kind of format as I'm working with here. So you end up having to potentially inside of here, having to write all of your uh, HTML uh, to get things to kind of line up in your blog. Now we'll see what this is providing you is that service, but automatically doing that for you. So if I type in hello, and then for example, apply a header one, you can see that it is actually changed. But if I click here to code view, you can see it's automatically applying the HTML for you. So that's going to create up create the markup that you're going to need to then be able to style with your CSS on the front end. So we've provided a few different options here, kind of standard options that you might see in a, a markup editor, um, different fonts, uh, font sizes, and so on. Um, so it's a standard affair, um, but if you're just looking for something simple, then this could definitely be an option. Okay, so there we go. That's how to set up a simple kind of markdown editor for Django. Like I said, there's plenty of them for you to explore. Uh, that was just a, a simple setup guide there for you. If you're interested in this further, there are some other settings um, that you can apply in uh, Django Summer Note. Um, if you want to see any more examples of markup editors, and I'll happily make a, a few more tutorials if you like. But thank you very much for listening, and hopefully I'll see you in the next tutorial.